Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosk Bounty video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Imperial Officers 4 pack. I do have quite a lot to say about this pack in terms of the construction of it, who's included, what they could have done instead to get these characters out but right off the bat I do want to say that I do like this set, I do like the figures that you get inside and we will be taking a look at those in a second if you do happen to enjoy the video hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and let's take a look at the packaging so basically as we know these are these four packs these white boxes we are very accustomed to these now we've got quite a few of them this is the imperial officers version and we have four included in there even though there is what uh, four nine on the front the four that you're getting are the four in front here because you can tell because on the back it has the four that you're actually getting there are two named officers inside and two generics we have motti we have piet and then the two generics are the ones on the side there but nothing else to say really about the packaging apart from i love what they've done with motti there with the collar i think that's just brilliant you've got the vintage collection logo on the top but apart from that not really else much going on with this so we're going to open it up and check out the figures i'm sure you've seen how hasbro packaged the figures in these by now you basically get four wax packets like tissue paper basically and the figures are inside and they're all labeled a b c and d you can just see b there Okay then, so here they are out of the packaging and we are going to be taking a look at them individually close up in a second. I just wanted to put them all out for you right now so we can discuss the accessories and the rank badges and all the other things about them. And we are going to be comparing the Piet with the standard release that came out on the single card as well because there are some differences of course. But I just wanted to sort of talk about the sculpt to begin with. I do find it quite amazing how they've managed to make so many different torsos for this character in terms of the rank badges and how many cylinders they've got in their pockets and things like that and also some of them have holsters and some don't and it is a little bit intriguing about which accessories come with which officer and things like that so first up on the left hand side we have one of the generic officers now he does come with a cap he also comes with a side blaster which is in the holster at the moment and he also comes with an e11 stormtrooper blaster next we have motti who doesn't come with a cap of course, in the film, he wasn't wearing a cap, but I still think they could have included one, really. Um, he only comes with a single blaster, but with no holster. Then you've got Piet, once again, no holster, single blaster, and he does come with a cap. And then you've got the ISB officer on the right-hand side with the white uniform. He comes with his black cap. He also has a side holster with the blaster inside and also comes with a E11 blaster. Now you may think that the two here on the outside are actually the same but a different paint purely because they've got the holster but they're not. This one has a different rank badge as you can see and also he only has the one cylinder on his, his left hand side, our right hand side, whereas the ISB officer has a cylinder in each pocket there. So there's quite a lot of different sculpts going on here. It's not just a generic officer body, they are mixing it up and I do like that that they're actually bothering to do that. Uh, we will take a look at the head sculpts in a second but as i said i just want to line them up in front of you here so you can see the differences now as i said before i do have a fair bit to say about this pack and how it's constructed and who's in it and what i think they should have done instead and essentially you know these army builder packs this isn't really an army builder pack is it because you've got two named characters inside it so why didn't they just go the whole hog and give us four named characters in this pack at the end of the day you're already limiting the amount that people are going to buy because you've got two named characters in there why not just have four named characters and i'll come on to that in a second but just for example they could have gone with motti piet they could have gone with uh, general tag if that's how you pronounce it they could have gone with a new updated Grand Moff Tarkin and there's your four or they could have had Yularin. They could have put any other named officers in this pack and I think it would have been a better proposition. However, saying that, if they're ever going to do a Yularin or a Tarkin again, then I would prefer those on card. And, you know, I would have preferred Motti on card as well. I think you can do lots of those different officers on card. You don't have to put them in the main line. You could do what you've just done with the Jabba's Denizens pack. You can do like a four pack of imperial officers on card i honestly think you'll sell more that way because you're putting two name characters in here you're limiting how many people are going to buy why not put them on card backs and then you're going to get the carded collector involved as well 
I've got to say, I am really disappointed that that is not Yularin, uh, considering he's in the same uniform there. By the by, that's what they've done. They've given you two generic officers and two named officers. And we are going to be taking a look at those right now, close up, taking a look at the head sculpts, and then we're also going to compare the Piet figure straight after. Okay then, so here is the first figure up close. This is one of the generic officers. You can see there he's only got the one cylinder there, not one on there, and he has his rank badge, and he does have the holster there with the sidearm in there right now. And nice head sculpt on this fella. I mean, at the end of the day, if you build dioramas or set up your figures in any sort of display, and you're gonna want lots of generic officers just hanging around in the background, then obviously this pack is perfect for you. And this is just gonna give you another one of those. Obviously it's another head to head swap with other characters as well. You can maybe create some rebels out of it or something, but yeah, he looks pretty, pretty cool. Next up, we're looking at another one of the generic officers. This is the guy in the ISB uniform, the white uniform, very similar to obviously the Krennic we're gonna be getting and the Grand Admiral Thrawn, which hopefully I'll have to review pretty soon, but he's pretty cool. He's got sort of like um, paint apps on the side of his face to create these sideburns, which are slightly gray. He's got like a white gray mustache and sort of black gray hair on top. So obviously he's supposed to be a bit older. At the end of the day, this is quite close to Wolf Yularin. Not exact, but as I said, if they were gonna do a Yularin, I would much prefer to have him on a card back. But once again, another generic officer, pretty cool. Could use him for lots of different things. You could use him for Andor, use him for, um, as I say, just a generic officer in the background of any display. So pretty cool, good to have. Next up we have Motti, and I've got to say, I really do think they've done a pretty good job with the head sculpt on this guy. Pretty screen accurate, I've got to say. Uh, I do like the look on his face. Really, really good. And you can see there that he has the one cylinder and the two cylinders on that side and his rank badge there as well. I believe he is an Admiral, I think. Admiral Motti. So there you go. Awesome, that one. Really, really good to have. And again, you know, carded collectors out there, I'm sure, if you're a fan of the original trilogy, You'd probably want this guy on card somehow, but no, he's in a army builder four pack. But obviously loose collectors are gonna be pretty happy indeed. I mean, I know I am. He's definitely gonna go in one of my displays. Awesome. And finally, we've got Admiral Piet. And this is of course the corrected Admiral Piet with the Admiral rank badge, or that's what I believe it is anyway. So this is when he was promoted in the Empire Strikes Back. Of course, he was an Admiral in Return of the Jedi, but as many of you might know, they had a wardrobe malfunction in Return of the Jedi and all of the officers had the same rank badge basically, regardless of their rank. And we will bring that figure in a minute because it is actually quite different to this one. You can see on this one, you've got the one cylinder there, two in the pocket there, and then his rank badge. And this head sculpt compared to the single release is a lot less pale. You'll see in a second now, this guy looks like he's been on holiday a little bit. So let's bring him in now and you'll see the difference. So um, this one on the right in my hand, this is the single release, the Return of the Jedi version. He only has the one cylinder on that pocket, none in that pocket, and obviously the different rank badge. But look at this guy, it's like he's seen a ghost, isn't he? He's really, really pale compared to uh, him in The Empire Strikes Back. Maybe that time in between working for Darth Vader, you know, sort of really put him under a lot of stress or something like that, and he looked a bit poorly. But there you go, there you can see the side profile, you can see the difference in color of the skin and the skin tone but the sculpt is exactly the same. So yeah, it's really, really good to have two different Piets. Of course, you've got the Return of the Jedi version, and then you've got the sort of Empire Strikes Back version when he's had his promotion. In terms of the articulation, these figures have everything you're gonna need, especially for an Imperial officer, but basically the head is on a double barbell. I'm sure you can swap them all out with each other if you wanted to do that. He has ball hinge shoulders, he has hinges at the elbows, hinges at the wrists, ball hinge at the torso, he has the new style hips, split at the thigh, knee joint, and rocker ankles. So more than you're ever gonna need for an Imperial officer, but it's welcome all the same to have that. And of course the lower tunic is a soft vinyl plastic, so you are able to get them to sit down and things like that. So if they ever do bring out the uh, you know Death Star briefing or whatever, then that would be pretty cool. You'd be able to have them all sitting around that table. That's awesome. All right then guys, so there's the lineup of the Imperial Officers four pack with Moff Jajerod on the end there. So I thought I'd add him just to show you all of the officers that we've got so far in the vintage collection. We've got a generic, we've got Motti, we've got Piet, 
We've got another generic and then we've got Moff Jajerod as well. So hopefully they'll do some more in the future if that's your thing. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I want to thank everybody for watching this video and thank you to my Patreon supporters and channel members as always. Thank you so much for the extra support. I really, really do appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and we shall see you on the next one. <music>